Hey everyone, welcome to Automatic Reviews. I'm your Automatic Reviewer, Mark, and today I have a very special but short video. It'll be an unboxing of the Christopher Ward C65 Trident Diver. Uh, I've been wanting this watch for quite some time, but it's a 41 millimeter case, and as I mentioned in previous videos, I generally stay 42 millimeters and above, usually 42 to 45, but I've been wanting this watch because I think it's very cool, and it was on sale as part of their big January sale. It was 50% off, which is an insane price. So I had to go for it, and I'm going to unbox it, and I'll do a review uh, pretty soon. So uh, besides that, uh, before we get to the unboxing, I do encourage you guys to follow me on Instagram at Automatic Reviews. I'll have pictures and other content related to the watches that you see on this channel, as well as other watch-related stuff. So that would be awesome. Also, while you're here, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff too. That would be really cool. So let's get to the unboxing, guys. Um, yes, as I mentioned in the intro, I did get this on sale. It was about 50% off. Normally it retails for about $1,000 and it, I got it for about $500, which is an amazing price on a great watch. I will mention that uh, although I do have a lot of Christopher Ward content in my videos, I am not sponsored in any way by them. I just have their, you know, their watches because I like them and they often go on really good sales. So that's why I have so many of them. Uh, today I'll do the unboxing with this Spyderco McB, an amazing titanium knife, uh, titanium handle, and uh, it's got a CTS XHP um, blade, which also I did put that mirror edge on like my other, um, like that Chris Reeve I showed you. So I'm gonna pop this thing open. already in good so uh huh wow uh this is the first time i've gotten a box like this from christopher ward usually i've gotten the uh, sort of more traditionally shaped watch boxes this is uh really cool get that out of the way so yeah it's this long uh slender box and as you can see at the end here is some kind of wood it looks like bamboo this is gonna be a swanky watch box so let's get it open. How can I get in? All right, it's coming off. Oops. Oh, I see. The, ah, the, this part got trapped inside. Oh, wow, that is really nice, actually. Embossed logo. Um, this is some sort of like a, a pleather um, cover around with some sort of hard plastic, and then it slips like a sheath over top of this wooden portion. Mm. I'm having trouble making a function. All right, here, it's back on. So yeah, then it opens up like this. Pretty swanky. Uh, what else do we have in here? This looks like some kind of a, ooh, it's, this has their card with their 60-60 guarantee. I forgot to mention that in my last video um, when I was talking about the C8, um, Chris Ford has an amazing warranty, 60 days. Uh, return policy. Uh, you can re return it for any reason as long as it's in brand new condition. So if it's for a gift or if you just want to, you know, try it on and then you decide this isn't for me, you can think about it and return it within two months and they'll give you a full refund. And then a 60 month uh, warranty, meaning for five full years, uh, your watch has uh, a warranty, which is incredible. This is quite a nice little warranty card. And then here we have the um, yeah instruction manual. Pretty standard stuff, but a nice format and very good quality. What else do we have in here? Ah, a little pull tab. Ooh, I can already see the watch. But before we reveal more about the watch, we'll see what's inside this, which is some kind of cardboard sleeve. It is a very fancy little compartment for a microfiber cloth. I do appreciate it. Microfiber cloths are always very useful, and these nice ones come in handy, but what I tend to do is save the nice ones. So I use a bunch of crappy ones, and I have these nice ones saved in little compartments like this one all right guys and now here it is the watch it has plastic on it, so it kind of detracts slightly from the presentation here but i will be uh removing that so here bear with me I'm taking it out of this sleeve how to free it oh, i see it's got elastics at both ends uh, i i ordered it with the um canvas strap um canvas uh, nylon webbing I don't know it's called nylon webbing I think I ordered it with that strap because I have plenty of leather straps around and um, honestly I, I like the way this one looks and I did also order and I will show you that in a future video I did also order the 
um, metal link bracelet because the link bracelets they have are such high quality and I'm gonna switch it over to that once that comes in because I, I think it's gonna look great on that uh, that bracelet and it's got a quick release um, and it's got you know a, a, a micro adjustment um, quick micro adjustment on it so I'm, I'm excited for that so but that's in the future today it'll be on this lovely canvas webbing strap let me just pull off the plastic and you can see oh the case back is this deep embossed logo with some bead blasting, some polishing. It just looks great. Um, all right, just give me a second. I'm gonna get this plastic off. What, no, not bore you guys with my struggle. All right, here it is, guys. You have the, uh, has a little tag hanging off it, which says 6060. That's part of their 60, uh, 6060 warranty. So they have a little tag on all their watches. You can see it's this khaki type of green. And I'm relieved to see in person, it really does look more like a khaki rather than a sort of a pea soupy kind of green. Um, the photos online don't do it really justice, so it wow, it's a really nice color. And as you can see, it's got these quick release bars. Uh, this strap, despite being a, a, a nylon webbing, actually has a uh, some kind of calf lining in it, which will definitely aid in its comfort, but it won't make it as useful in um, warm weather. One of the things I like about nylon straps is they're great for when it's warm out. But this does look like a nice strap, and it certainly suits it um, as far as color tone is concerned. Um, one, I just give it, you know, try it on real quick and see it on the wrist. I guess before I do that, I'll give it a little wind and we'll see the 28,800 beats per hour in action as that hand glides along smoothly. Lovely. All right, there it is in action and up close. Uh, it has 150 meters of water resistance. It has uh, a diving bezel on it, uh, 120 click uh, single direction uh, rotating diving bezel. It has a um, box sapphire crystal that stands up proud over the top. It has this incredibly lovely um, case I'll wipe off some of the fingerprints. It has this incredibly lovely case, which is a, a mix between brush and polish. And then it has this really nice case back with a sticker still on it. Right. Now let's remove that. All right, here we go. Look at that. It's just, I do love uh, an exhibition case back, but if you're gonna have a case back that is not an exhibition case back, why not have one that's really pretty like this with this a combination of um, looks like a bead blast and polish and it's a deep sort of stamped rather than like a laser etched it's just really high quality so yes let's do some wrist shots all right here you have it on uh, it's actually took me a couple of minutes to get it on this is the single stiffest uh, strap I've ever encountered it's it's very very waxy it's like extremely waxed nylon canvas of some kind. And I assume that's to improve its performance in a, in a water situation since this is a diver watch. Um, but my goodness, that was, uh, it's gonna need some real breaking in before I can actually use this strap. That being said, it does look quite nice with this um, color. And you know, I, I'm liking the size. Maybe I'm a, a convert to a 41 uh, for, 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 for certain watches. So. I, I like that. I'm trying to open the door all the way down to 40 and get comfortable wearing something as, as small as that. And I know for a lot of people, 40 is not small, but uh, as I've discussed in previous videos, you know, it, it just depends on your taste. It depends on the way your, your, your wrist is shaped, your hands are shaped and everything, all the whole, the rest of it. So, but I think this does look good. I think this is a beautiful watch. And all right, guys, I will post a review of this in the future and I will post pictures on Instagram and videos and all the rest of it. All right, guys, so this is the watch. Uh, thanks for being patient through the unboxing, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I will definitely post more about this watch in the future. All right, guys, that was it, the unboxing of the Christopher Ward C65 Trident. So thank you, and please do subscribe and continue your journey with me into the world of watches and all their mysterious fascinations. Don't you? I don't know. Thanks, guys. Bye.